What's up YouTube? If you've been following along, you'll know we are still at the yard, still haven't washed my truck, and this is still the day before we're going trucking. So let's switch to tomorrow morning. And here we are, ready to roll tomorrow. Sun's about to come up, we're about to get ripping. 10-4, let's go. Well, we've got her started and we're all lit up and ready to go on our first voyage with this new dump trailer. Let's give her a shot. to just have them fresh tar and chip this road so we'll be going slow and steady we'll just wash these things off last night so no need to rush down the old new gravel road I just remembered that Ben was actually the one that pulled this trailer home so this is real my first time ever pulling it and it is pulling straight as an arrow no complaints turns good that second lift axle is awesome it turns like right on the old dime so we are good to go everything is rolling as she should hammer down for Windsor and here we are down in Windsor. We got one Stevens truck heading out and we got two Stevens trucks heading in. Hello. It's Stevens 127 at the stop sign. Morning, Stevens. Stevens 125 in behind them. Morning, Donna. Good to go in. So we are all scaled in and we are in the back and inside that barn there's salt and then they put it onto a conveyor and it takes it all the way down there and then it will put it onto a boat. Kind of like what we do when we're loading corn down in Hamilton but this is kind of a lot older of a way to do it. Cause it's all, there's the United States of America over there. But we are going inside one of Windsor's big barns here to get loaded. Which doesn't happen too often, but the last few times I've been here is what we've been doing. Ben's in there right now getting loaded. Figured I'd let him get by because he's got a load of corn to do after this. tight that pile is like up to the top and it is right up against this and it's just this tiny little bucket lift to get through but we got her done and we'll get her done again Beautiful. 
And now we're ready to get loaded up with the Rotex salt. I got 42 on this next Steven Destruct, please, and thank you. doesn't steer and that's for my steer axle but all right good to go axles down ready for turning and burning here we are all loaded up and parked up and yeah it took that arc right out of the frame of that trailer that box before was sitting flat but the trailer had a big old arc in it like the frame part so now it is sitting nice and flat we are fully loaded Axles are both down and ready to hit up the big road. So let's get her going. And we are back on the highway with the hammer down, fully loaded up and trucking, pulling still straight as an arrow. You wouldn't even know she's back there. Caught up to big jams, small jams, Ben jams. And we will be kicking her into Tilsonburg. Like I said at the start of the video, our road is all tarn chipped, so we're going this way now, which is actually probably a better way to go anyway, so beauty. Trio is here. Al's just about unloaded. And then I get to play the old waiting game. Good times. Apparently I don't know how to set up my camera anymore because that clip was horrible, but you get the point. We are here, lined up, looking large. Well, one box is going down, Ben's up next. Waiting game continues. Looking nice and down the center. Good to go. Look how tall this trailer is. Nice. There's Ben putting her up to the top. Just a little bit left and then we're good to go. And he is empty and cleaning out the corner. We are in position, dropping all the air. Gotta lift the axles and put the box up. 
and dump the air in the suspension of the trailer, of course. Well, we had one loud bang there, but she's going up, just figuring itself out. We'll put it up about two and a half, three stages, and that should get most of the load out. And then you start putting it up a little more, and a little more, and a little more until she's to the top. Steady with the first load, that's for sure. That is just about there, so I will go and put her to the top. Working out real good. Well, that's just about empty, and that thing didn't hold any in the top at all. She is nice and cleaned out. Alrighty, we're all cleaned out and putting this box back down. And down she comes. That hoist will start working a lot better as we start using it a lot more. That's what we bought it for. And I am glad that just went so well. And we can get out of here and go haul some corn. And she is down. Beauty. to the yard safe and sound and before we end the video I guess I should say that this trailer worked out wonderfully pulled straight down the road did everything we asked her to went up it went down it'll get better as the time goes on there's a lot of things we want to do I want to like basically polish this thing which I don't know how I'm gonna do yet but I got a couple ideas I want to get all that old reflective tape and put just silver back on and yeah it's a good starting point to be in a sweet Sweet trailer, that is for sure. I appreciate clean transportation, Norwich Brick and Tile, for the opportunity of buying it because it's hard to find a dump trailer these days, so. And now I'm gonna go back this thing up, drop her off, and someone else can use it tomorrow. I just got to do the maiden voyage, make sure everything works and works right, and it certainly does. All right, everybody, we are dropping this trailer. We got her all backed in and it worked out perfectly. So if you like the trailer, make sure you like the video. And if you got something to say about it, then leave it in the comments. Cause I'd love to know what you guys think of this 2014 Stargate. Have you used one? Have you not? What's better? Titan, obviously, I know. Uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. And we will see you on the next one.